everybody to another episode of Movie Social. We're your host, Rick and Stuff. What up, what up, what up? Today's episode, we're going to be doing a, another installment of the Black Excellence series that we're doing here. I'm going to be doing Mike Coulter and Stuff. Who are you going to be doing this I'm week? going to be doing Lapita Nuongo. <laughs> All right, Stuff, Stuff. I'm going to let you go first on this one. All right, so Lapita Nuongo, um, a lot of you know her for her roles in. Black Panther, her role in, you know, plenty of other movies. But me, I'm going to do what I thought was one of the best acting uh, performances when she played um, in Us. Um, she literally played two roles. One being her regular normal self, and the other one being the tethered part of herself. And normally when you play yourself, you basically do the same tone of voice. Whereas in this movie, she literally had to play, you know, her regular tone of voice. And then she had to play her voice, but like very scratchy. Um, and I can only, I can only imagine what that does to the vocal cords during that time of that process. I you can also do uh, post editing. But no, no, she actually had an interview. She actually, and I'm just saying you can yeah, do this. You can, voice. but she actually had an interview where she actually stated that like, one day that they would do her recordings of just her and then the next day she'll be doing just the whole scratchy part which is a good idea because you don't want to just you know get out of the strength yeah kill your voice box by doing that but it was amazing um her acting um in us was great um great performance all around i enjoyed us um simply because of how well she performed um and what she did for the character uh, she really yeah. brought it to life. She made you think multiple times. This whole movie made you think multiple times. Yeah, the plot twists. Yeah, of who is who. And it's just... It, and, and the movie was insane. Um, yeah, and was. it was basically like her acting just killed it. And I... Like, she did her thing, man. Most. Mm-hmm. Well, I personally thought this was excellent. She plays all her roles very well. Us to me, might be her biggest role in a way. A lot of people still probably would say Black Panther's a big role, but I think Us was her first big role, in my opinion, of being a lead and not just being a supporting cast. Mm -hmm. So, it stood out very well for her. And she played it to a T. But she did. That movie itself was wild. Scary book. It's not scary like, oh my God, but it's scary as far as the mind. It's along the same lines for Get Out, so. Yes. But it was excellent. All right, so for Mike Coulter, for those that don't know who he is, big bald guy, uh, Luke Cage. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, He's played as Luke Cage. He's played in Black and Blue. He's played in a laundry list of things. He's even played on the CBS series uh, from, I believe, this past uh, fall, uh, the Supernatural-ish series about the devil and Christ and all that. He's supposed to be part of the church or whatever. No okay. for this. But I'm going to go with Luke Cage. Because to me, that was one of the best roles I've seen that he's played. And to me, it was a short-lived show that should have gone on. Thanks a lot, Disney, <laughs> for uh, choosing to just go straight with Disney Plus and not having these. I do not ever want to see anyone else play Luke Cage other than him during this time. It's like Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine. He played the role very well. I liked the way he brought the life to the character. From the subtle scenes of talking about the coffee, when he got out of coffee, knowing that was subline for other things, to <laughs> the action scenes of him fighting. Uh, to the parts where he even started to become the villain in a way. Towards he played the role to a T. He knows how to carry himself, if you ask me, on the camera. And he doesn't always just play the muscle-bound action hero type of role. Even though he fits that part very well, he again he's played in the sci-fi ish role, supernatural role on a TV show. It's played as the corrupt drug dealer gangster in Black and Blue. Which, I might add, 
that was a great performance as well. Switching it up from hero to villain was pretty well put together. All in all, I personally think he's a great fit for our Black Excellence moment. Just on those merits alone, what do you think? I agree, man. He definitely did kill it in uh, Luke Cage. Um, one thing I do want is, like, he did it, Chadwick Boseman did it. I just need to see more black superheroes. There are more black superheroes. I just need these companies to pick them up because Definitely. they they mean a lot to us. You, they, you may not think that, but as as we call blurs, a black nerd, black seeing black superheroes means a lot to us. We don't have many, but the, the ones that we do have definitely mean a lot to us. So I would definitely like to see like Hercules and stuff like that. Um, but he did a really great go job as Luke Cage and definitely is well deserving of being uh, put on our black accents because he did a hell of a job. Definitely. And I'm going to tell you again, Disney, if you're watching, when it comes time, because I believe that contract uh, time of waiting is almost up with uh, Netflix, and you guys bring back Luke Cage, if you hire anyone else to play Luke Cage, we are going to come for you, and we're not going to watch it. Just like we're not watching Mulan right now. <laughs> Until next time, everybody, let us know what you guys think about those these two great black actors and actresses. Let us know your favorite role that they've played, what movie or TV show they might have played and that you prefer. Till next time.